Welcome to seven signs that your crush likes you how to tell, but you can also use these tips in your relationship now, even if you've been married for 40 years. How can you make sure that you are showing your partner that you care or that they still care about you? Stay tuned to the end. Just like birds have different calls, every person communicates a little bit differently, but there are some consistent body language things that you can look for that may change culture to culture, that may change based upon level of familiarity and comfort, but just know that these are general signals that you can start evaluating for consistency. So just like birds have calls that mean danger, just like birds have calls that mean come here, just like birds talk to each other. Different humans will have different levels of communication, physically, mentally, and emotionally. So just realize that as you're taking these tips into account. Comment below, how do you show your crush or your partner that you care? Often we overthink. We look at every little thing a person is doing and interpret that. We look at their body language, their tone, what they say. So much of our communication is nonverbal. But when we've got a crush on somebody, or when we're in love with somebody, sometimes we can overthink and start wondering, do they actually care or do they not care? How do I tell? Here's sign number one. They lean in when you talk. Part of body language when we're engaged with somebody, if they're saying something that interests us or that we want to hear more about, often our body language will come a little bit forward. So if you're across a table, they may lean in. If you're sitting next to them on a chair, they may lean towards you. They may take a step. They may engage more, right? They're bringing their body towards you in a way to show that they're really paying attention. That's a really great sign if you're looking to see if someone actually cares about what you're talking about and if they're trying to engage with you. The second sign, are they looking you in the eye? Right? Our eyes are the window to our soul. It creates a lot of emotional intimacy and it takes a level of trust and bonding and connection, but it also helps bonding and connection when we look someone directly in the eye. In fact, so much so that it's hard for some people to hold eye contact for even 15 seconds, right? We look away, we start talking, we maybe look down at our phones or we look down at their chest or above at the sky, or we start thinking, looking left and right. So if someone is really engaged and trusts you, they're gonna look you directly in the eye and take that opportunity to build that trust, to release those oxytocin hormones, that bonding, so you can have a more strong connection. Tip number three is physical contact. So in other words, how do they touch you? Now, take this with a grain of salt because some people like and appreciate touch more than others, right? And just because someone touches you doesn't mean that it's because they have a crush on you. Think about business situations, for example, where someone may reach over and, tr and touch you on the arm in order to engage in a storytelling, right? But look at the way they touch you. Small touches on the arm, on the shoulder, if someone touches you as you're going through the door on the small of your back, it can show that they're trying to engage with you, that they want to feel more connected, that they're trying to build a level of touch, of trust and respect, right? Because touch is one of our first forms of communication. It's innately in us as humans. And so those little touches, those little ways that they're looking to connect with you could show that they really care about you. Sign number four, do they smile at you? Do you catch them looking at you and smiling? Or perhaps they're thinking about something happy and they smile when they see you. They're really excited to engage with you when you run into each other. They want to make you happy. So whether it be a little cheerful smile, whether it be a little mysterious kind of flirtatious smile from across the room, could mean that your crush is really into you. Sign number five is mirroring. 
What's mirroring, you ask? Well, we have neurons in our brain that actually when we respect or trust or like somebody, we start doing similar things. And it builds a bond. Like, so for example, if I cross my arms and you're engaged with me, you might cross your arms as well. If you see someone cross their legs one way and you notice that you start crossing your legs the other way. If someone leans in and you lean in as well. But it goes even in our normal culture. Someone smiles at you on the street and you smile back. Someone waves and you wave back. Someone uses a certain tone and you take on that certain tone, right? Mirroring helps us relate to each other. In fact, they've done studies that show when someone does and mirrors the same gestures as somebody else, it actually increases their level of bonding. There was one where the interviewer actually did the exact opposite of what the interviewee was doing. So if someone crossed their legs from left to right, the interviewer uncrossed their legs. If the person leaned in, the interviewer leaned back and they had them rate, like how connected did you feel to this person? And the more the person, more the interviewer mirrored the person being interviewed, the more likely they were to feel connected and trusted and respected. So it's a tool that you can use if you're feeling disconnected from your relationship or if you have a crush on somebody you don't want to copy every exact gesture that they have. That might be a little too much. It might be a little creepy, but if you start mirroring, if you just notice that you do some similar things, that can really include or um, that can really show that you care. Sign number six is that they do things for you. So there's a bird in the desert here called the cactus wren. And the male cactus wren not only helps care for the young, but while the female cactus wren is taking care of one set of babies, she's often incubating a second set. So the male cactus wren goes out and builds a second nest and sometimes a third just to prepare for the family ahead. Now, your crush probably isn't gonna be building you houses and making big, huge, life-changing plans when you're just first starting to date, but if they're going out of their way to do things for you, that's a really good sign that they're into you. Along a similar note, are they making time for you? Do they want to schedule a next date or a next engagement? Do they keep their plans with you? Are they making time to talk? And sometimes this comes over texting, sometimes not, right? It's often shown that if we just text back and forth to people, Within a month, people will stop texting and that's when a lot of people get ghosted, right? Is in this month time frame because there hasn't been a strong enough connection for people to keep taking the time. And actually the brain starts disconnecting after that. So if they're actually making time to talk with you on the phone, to create physical connection in person, coffees, walks, whatever it is, that's a really good sign that that person is into you. But the overall takeaway from this video to see whether or not this person has a crush on you is how much are they investing in you? Their time, energy, attention. Are they putting down their phone when they're with you? Or if they need their phone on for work, are they actually saying like, hey, I'm sorry, I'm expecting a work call. I'll just need to check my phone if it rings. Or are they just checking it every time it rings because there might be someone more important? than you in their mind. And maybe that's a boundary that you have. Maybe you both engage on their phone, but then are you really connected? Are you really attached to this crush? Or is it just someone that you're spending time with? What's really most important for you and for them? So look at how your actions in your relationship, especially long-term relationships, but also in those new relationships, what habits are you forming? How are you showing that other person that you care, that you want to be connected? How are you building those bonds of oxytocin in the brain through eye contact, through love languages, through time, connection, attention, through your smile, through your touch? So I encourage you to play with it. Amp up your level of vulnerability. Really see, does your crush like you? Are you into them or do they, or do you just want them to be into you? That's something else to pay attention to, right? I'm Dawn Bennett, helping you free your emotional baggage from all your relationships so you can live your most joyful, happy, healthy, connected, 
and loving life. Namaste. Please subscribe and share with those that you have a crush on so they know what to look for. Bye. Believe it or not, I had a bird's nest I was going to show y'all, but now I can't find the tree it's in. I had it, but it disappeared. So who knows?